Hey, so this video was not planned. I wasn't gonna make this my next hi-fi video. However, I thought why not? And I thought I'd have some, a little bit of fun with this and see how I go. So we've had a bit of a power surge here and we actually noticed from these holes up the top here, we saw light flash out <laughs> from this unit. And what's happened is the board has gone and we actually thought it was a, a pop or a crackle from the record. However, it wasn't. It was a pop from this. And something's blown. And another subwoofer, why we didn't hear anything, it just didn't power on. Thankfully, that subwoofer just needed a fuse replaced so i replaced the fuse in that other subwoofer and now it's turning on so dollar fifty later i'm good to go however with this one it's done but there's nothing wrong with this and i have a perfectly good subwoofer speaker here a box and I have spare subwoofer boards. I have two. And I'm going to use one of these on this. And why not? I have made my subwoofers in the past, a long time ago when I was getting into hi fi. And I kept the boards. And I'm going to put it in the back of this. It is a little bit of a hack, subwoofer hack. But why not? Because I could, this can still be used. And the reason also I'm going to do it is because it's, I'm just using the subwoofer for home theater. It's just an LFE, low frequency effect. It's a mono sound. So I can get those rumbles when the thunder's happening, when you're watching a movie or the explosion goes off or when you get heavy uh, utility vehicles or trains go by or that kind of you know under 80 hertz 60 hertz whatever you have your crossover set at and it drops down to the subwoofer I just need it to rumble yeah sure you could probably get better boards and it might be a bit tighter cleaner base but for movies I'm not going to worry too much and I just I'm going to put one of these on the back of this. So let us do that. I'll show you what I'm going to do. And let's get on with it. Here we go. So I've turned this subwoofer around. And this, of course, fits perfectly in the back. But the best fit is this board here. I'm going to use that on this However, I am going to have to cut this bit out and it will fit nicely. So I'm only just going to cut this lip, this little bit here, this kind of tongue and groove, this lip part, part here out and it will fit quite nicely. Now I have checked the wattage and I have checked the impedance. It's going to, it should be more than fine and I don't really have the money to go and buy a new one and this will work fine as i said it's only a mono sound i'm sure a new subwoofer it, that bass will roll off nicer but i think this will be more than fine so let's get the tools out and get this fitted into that so my next step was to make room for the new subwoofer board and by trimming around the edge of the back of it and I didn't have to trim that much as you saw in the other video I just had to take that little border bit out and it wasn't much at all and as you can see here I'm just stripping the cables from the actual subwoofer speaker and connecting it to the cables from the new subwoofer board and look it was on fine it wasn't an issue and I do like to do a bit of cable management. There was quite a bit of excess cable there. So I got some electrical tape 
and tidied that extra bit of excess cable up and made sure it was actually just not hanging around there loosely. And as you can see here, there it is there, I've taped it to the board and the board did fit really nicely. It was such a nice snug fit, it was great. Now I wanted to make sure it was level before putting the other screws in, not a drama at all. And look, look, this is it, it's gone on quite nicely. Now this board is completely over spec so I knew it was going to run beautifully. Plugged it in and I wanted to give it a test before putting the grill on or having it completely set up. So I chose a movie on Netflix and gave it a whirl and it worked perfectly. So I put the grill back on. I put the statue that was originally on it back. But look, it worked out really well. I was really happy with the, the way it worked out. As I said, this was actually, wasn't planned. It was a little project. I thought, do you have a spare subwoofer board there? Let's do this. I bought a fuse for the other one. It started working again, which is fantastic. And putting this new board on the back worked out really well. And I knew that it would work. But look, uh, as I said, it was an unexpected video. It wasn't planned. So I'm back up and running. And it's now gonna be the subwoofer for my movies and it's a low frequency effect, it's just a mono sound. And when I did test it, it, the bass rolled off quite nicely. It wasn't extending or that flabby kind of distorted bass. It, it was more than fine, it really was. So look, I'm pretty happy with it. And I also, check out my other videos. I'd really like a subscribe if you can. That'd be fantastic or a like on this video. And if you need some company with whatever you're doing, have a listen to one of our podcasts. And thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.